Hey everybody, welcome to the Mark Thomas Home Builder Show. Today is Thursday. It's mid-February here in Michigan, and this is the time that, well actually we have a lot of snow on the ground, so I can't quite get out in the woods yet. Um, but soon I'm hoping that the weather is going to change where the snow melts a little bit, and I can get in there and start getting firewood. So I have seen this accessory, and I'm going to do an unboxing video, or opening video. Uh, this is a stump vise and it'll help me sharpen my chainsaw so let's open it up here's my Milwaukee Tonto point fastback knife you can see it in action and check out my other review on this knife if you want to know more about it it's a good uh, 20 some dollar everyday carry knife all right here it is Oregon or Oregon I don't know how you say it depends where you're from 2638A. And alright, it's got that impossible plastic packaging. So, uh, I hate that stuff. Use my knife here to get into this. Where you can see a little better. So it's it's a nice red. I looked at the Husqvarna one. That one's black, and I thought that this is oh, made in China. Nice. Um, this one being red would be easier to see, and these look virtually the same. I wouldn't be surprised if uh, they just um, they're made by the same company, but they're just painted a different color, and in the picture it showed, oh I guess that's the sticker where it says Oregon, so they don't even like paint it on or anything. Um, these tips right here are going to drive into the wood, into the stump, so I will go outside my next episode and show you how this works. So I've got a scale here, just give you a quick overview, it's pretty thick steel. It looks to be quarter inch and it weighs almost 11 ounces overall length five inches the one thing I like about this one I did uh, consider the steel one I could have bought that locally uh, this one was about $20 shipping included from Amazon Amazon and the you know I do like to buy locally but I didn't see anybody carrying this exact model, you know, otherwise that's what I would do. Uh, the steel one though, it seemed like that was like over 30 and it's not nice and flush on the top here. So if you're taking, you know, a stick to pound that down into the, those points, down into the wood, it looks like there's a handle that you could hit and this looks like it's just a nice flat thing so you could just drive it home and not worry about breaking anything. So I think this is going to work really nice. So let's uh, go outside in the next video, see it in action. All right, here we are out in the woods. We're going to put it to the test. Here's my makeshift hammer, and here is the vise. All right. See how easy it goes in. Yeah, I'm right by a knot. So let me try it right here. All right, that's nice and solid. You don't want to try to hammer it in a knot. And then screw that tight. Your chainsaw. There you go. Let's get a closer. All right, look. as you can see, the chainsaw is nice and secure. It's not going to fall off, and I can touch it up. All right, it's beautiful. I'm real happy the way it works. All right, let's see how well it disconnects. 
unscrew it, pull the chainsaw out, and that's in there pretty solid. Let's see, I forgot where I put my hammer. Yep, there it is. Works nice. Yeah, nice and solid. Boom, hit it sideways, pop it out. All right, hope you like this video. If you do, please give me a thumbs up, give me a comment. I'd like to hear your thoughts. As always, thanks for watching. Have a great day.